Hello, YouTubers. Um, today's video is going to talk about some common CyberArk privilege access security administrative tasks. The first task we're going to talk about is rotating CPM locks. Basically, the CPM locks can be automatically uploaded to a safe in the vault according to the predefined period of time in the CPM parameters file. Each time a log file is uploaded to the vault, it is copied to the history subfolder in the log folder, and the CPM begin writing to a new log file. Let's log into PVWA as a vault admin. Go to the administration tab, password manager. Now this is platform manager, configuration options. CPM settings. You can see central policy manager has been set as a password manager. If you have multiple password managers, CPM installed, you should see all of them, all of them on the list list. So there's a CPM settings. General, lock check period, you know, set down as one, safe name, CPM log, just make some changes. Okay, gonna create in a new safe, call it CPM logs. Gonna assign password manager as our CPM. Save. We're gonna add members. So we need to allow vault admins group. We're gonna grant all permissions. Now vault admins group will now be able to access the CPM logs. Our next exercise is ad hoc access. A major step in the privilege access security program is to secure a Windows local administrator. This is essential to reduce the risk of a latent movement. CyberArk enables securing local administrator credentials as well as using PSM to access those accounts. There are cases, however, we are managing the local administrator passwords is not possible at the initial stage of the deployment, whether because of uh, objection from the IT users of for other reasons. Ad hoc access allow you to smooth them out of your local administrator's security. It can be used as an intermediate step toward full implementation of routing the local administrators. You can grant Windows admins on demand ad hoc privileged access to Windows target for four hours. During this time, domain users can request to access the system as a local administrator. If authorized, the system temporarily as a lockdown Windows user into the target system local administrator group without the need to manage the credentials of the local administrator on a target. This allows for a frictionless and the lightweight solution that enable your organization to introduce privileged control and help establish habitual security before moving into a robust privileged access security program. In this exercise, we are gonna set up ad hoc access for the Windows admin users, Bill, allowing Bill to be added to the local admin group on a target system for our so we log into the local admin as a vault admin user 01. Go to the platform manager. Duplicate Windows Server local admin. We call the Windows Server at, at hoc. You can edit the last platform. You cannot change the settings.
Um, you can allow manual change to now. Perform periodic change to now. We have allow manual verification. To now. Now we are perform periodic verification. RC allow many. RC allow manual change. Manual reconciliation to now. And RC automatic reconcile when you unsync. Click OK for those changes. Go to the UI and let me see. Still need to go to the UI workflows. Properties, remove the username property from required and add a new. Remove username. Right, add a username. Optional. Right, right click automatic password management and add additional policy settings. We're gonna set allow domain user ad hoc access to yes. For ad hoc access, a domain, a domain account which is used as an reconciled account should be associated with the platform. In our case, this has been defined in the base platform. We duplicate. Now we're starting to add our local account. We choose our Windows Server ad hoc access. We serve Finance US to gonna put the address. As e F server. Logo. Use name as administrator. Password. For log on to the result. Now we need to do CPM scanner configuration changes. On our CPM server, we need to go to folder. Program files, cyberarc password manager and scanner. We're gonna change CACPMF scanner.exe configuration file. Gonna open with notepad plus plus. Need to add following line. Under the app settings here. Add key, cool, is 
ad hoc enabled. Save, quit, and I'll change, restart the service, CPM scan the service. Say back, CPM scan the service to restart. Start it and then stop. Some service stop automatically, if they are not. Let's start it. After we start the service, we're going to test ad hoc access. Now we open MSTSC. Log and um, temp was failed. The connection was denied because the user account is not authorized for remote login. Because um, VRS account has not authorized for RDP remote login. So we're going to log back to PVWSBL. Searched for a target. Administrator account. Request to get access. So the last lab to do is custom file categories. Fire category is a cyber term for the attributes or field available on account, such as address, username, etc. This section will detail the steps required to create and use custom fire categories, allow you to categorize account based on your organization's requirement. In this first exercise, we will create a custom file category called a business unit and apply to provide a list of possible choice like international, retail, and the corporate. We will then modify our Oracle platform so that when users add a new account, they will be required to associate a new account with one of these business units. Finally, we will make a new parameter searchable within the PVWA. And of course, we will test what we have done. First step, creating a custom file category. Using a component server from a private art client. Log on to the vault. And then go to file, server file category. Server file categories. Press the new button. In the new add file category window, you're gonna enter in our new category here. Name will be business unit, it's one word. The type will be on a list. So now we need to add a list. such as international, 
detail operate and uh, mark it as required category okay now we can quit from here The next step is adding a custom file category to our platform. Go to our platform management and choose our Oracle DBA. We go to our UI and the workflows properties there's some call it required I'm gonna add a new property a new property name gonna be the same as our new business unit name so this step job make our business unit as a required field on any account attached to Oracle DBA policy. Next step is making a file category code searchable. Configure options. There's some um, options. It's a search. property here and then we need to add a property of course this your name will be our this unit apply okay okay now we're gonna sign out test it of course before we doing that we're gonna list our services so last step is testing our pvwa as a rally just give the restarting script a couple of minutes come back here Logging as Rari and then okay. And we go to accounts. Go to additional. We're gonna find our DBA01 account. We're gonna add it. This you see business unit is available. If you want to save missing value in the field, required properties, just detail, save, good. So without choosing that field, you cannot save because it's required. Now we're gonna go back to accounts and view again and make it searchable detail DBA01 searchable. Okay, that's all for today's lab. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and give me a thumb up. I will bring more cyborg videos for sure.